everybody. Okay, so today I'm going to go over the mini swap. This week it was um, the great outdoors. I'm going to try to do this every Friday as a reminder. It's time to mail your mini swap. So we sign up on Monday or no, Sunday and Monday, and I will give you your information and then you make four embellishments in four days. So then we have Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, you mail off your embellishments to the captain that I sent the information for. So this week for the outdoor swap, I did fishes because we like to fish. I fish growing up. I grew up in Oklahoma and, and I have a lot of really good memories, fry and crappie and hush puppies. So I really enjoy fishing. My family enjoys fishing. Our five kids like it. So it's just something we do a lot of. So I thought I would share my love of fishing for the great outdoors swap. So I used, let's see here. I used, actually, this is a Father's Day. Um, let's see here. If I put this here. Let's see. It's actually a Father's Day stamp and die set from the Stamps of Life. By now, you probably realize I like the Stamps of Life. I'm a member of their monthly club, and I have a lot of fun with it, and I decided to do the fish. So I die cut it. I have a whole bunch. You'll see them here. Let's see if I can get them in camera. Okay, so... I did bunches of scrap paper. I did polka dots, kind of remain, reminded me of rainbow trout. I had some, uh, what I would call mixed media paper. I didn't paint that, but it was, I bought it. I am not a mixed media gal, but they work really good for die cuts, I think. Um, and I did some floral and just some solids. Whatever I had in my scrap tub, I always have scraps and... <clears throat> tub next to me. I keep it right in my drawer. Let's see if I can get it out here. And this, I don't even know where I got it. I think I got it at Ross. It may have been Amazon. I don't really know. But I just throw all my scraps. You'll see I, all these fishies. And yes, I will still keep these because I can punch a little flower or heart or something. And these are the ones that are just too small to sort or something when I, I don't want to do it. And honestly, I had these out thought about doing scales, but it's a mini swap, so I tried to keep them flat. Anyway, so I always keep this next to me. I went through and I die cut a whole bunch of these little fishies, and then I did coordinating backgrounds. Took me a little bit because while those are my little scraps, I do keep all of my other scraps in large baggies. Um, I don't even know what size these are. I own a business. My husband and I um, have a business, and I used to ship in these for our products and I had a bunch left over and I like them because you can write on this part of it, but I use them for my scraps I keep on my desk. So anyway, long story short, I did all these little, little fun little fishies and we'll put one together here. I'm going to show you what each packet ended up with because I also did a tag. So my idea was to make a tag for each person. But as I started to make these tags, they kept getting bulkier and bulkier. And I'm always preaching to y'all not to, not to make them too bulky. So I decided with help of advice from Sherry and I think Michelle, I asked, I was like, mm, should I make the tag? Shouldn't I make the tag? Uh, it was a 50-50. So I decided not to make the tag because as I was doing it, I wanted to add some twine. I wanted to add some more little bling and I decided, you know what, this is getting bulky and bulkier because I also wanted to pop up the little arrow on some foam tape. So this is my idea. This is how I would have done it. You're going to get pieces of it each if we're on, if you're on the same team with me. I was going to pop that up and I was going to take some twine and have it go up here and just kind of make a little loop like a fishing line. That's my idea. But instead, you're going to get the parts. So you're going to get a little fishy, fishy, fishy. My dad used to sing a song. Fishy, fishy in the brook. Fishy, fishy, jump on my hook. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so you're going to get a tag. And this is an adventure print paper. It has adventure. Let's see. It begins with open heart. Awaits wild and free. Travel the world. It says a bunch of different things. And then I did a little scallop with a stamp, with some scrap paper that said hello. Now, when I tucked it behind the fish, I just let the hello show, but you can do it however you like. And then I made a coordinating tab, and I made sure all my words were 
up so when you tucked it in they you know would have been kind of crazy to have them upside down so that's what each little baggie will have i did sign the back of each tag with my ginger stamp and one of these times i will i will show you that i've had it for years it's just a little little wooden stamp i have that has my name on it so that's what's going to go in each baggie I did put a little gem for the eye, but it's it's pretty flat. I made sure it was not, push all the air out, made sure it was not protruding or too bulky. And we'll put a fish together super quick here. Let me grab my, my favorite tacky glue that Miss Janet showed us ever. So let's see, I think I like this one. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We'll do two of them, okay. I don't even think y'all need me to show you this, but hey, it's what we're doing, right? We got some little scragglies. When you have to die cut it, sometimes they like to stay in there. And normally I'm not picky. Like if I have a floral that has so many little intricate, I agree with Janet. It's not worth sitting there and poking them out. But in this case, there's not a ton and it makes the fish a little more three-dimensional, I think. So I did kind of take the time to do those. Now, if you get one and they're not all poked out, you got a fish. That's what I can tell you, <laughs> right? Okay, so we're just gonna put little dabble do ya. You can do this with tweezers if you want. I don't mind doing it with my hands. Depends, when I was making all of those in the baggies there, I think I made like 30. Yeah, I did use tweezers because I would have had glue all over me, but we're just making one right now. Just kind of showing you how the process went after I sat and die cutted them and I just sat in front of the TV and when I had time and I sit and die cut everybody always asks me how I can make so many that's what I do I just sit there and chillax as my husband used to say when we were dating he used to call me and say what you doing chillaxing I was like okay that's too California for me <laughs> I'm too country anyway so and I took a little gem and I put on his little eye so him has some little sparkle right sparkles always good now I will be honest with you I bought this at Hobby Lobby after Janet showed it to us in one of the videos and if this was not a mini swap and this was a main swap I would probably take these tiny ones these really really tiny ones see how little they are and I would probably do like maybe a rainbow of sparkles and if you get these and you want to do that, oh, do it and show me. I would love to see it. But, you know, the darker ones, I just think it would be pretty. I do, but I think it would add too much for a mini swap. So I decided not to, not to do that. Okay, so we make those. We'll let them dry. And these, I just, like I said, I just punched out a bunch of different ones. I matched them up. And you poke them out too. Poke his little, his little scales. I did think about doing the sequence too. I thought that would be pretty across there, but again, I didn't want it to get too bulky. So we'll just, you know, I find the older I am, the less I'm patient to fish. I don't know why you would, I've been told it's the opposite, but not for me. I got other stuff to do. Maybe it's cause I have five kids and I have a grandbaby and I feel like I run like a chicken with my head cut off. I don't know. You could ink these too if you wanted to. I didn't. I, I do ink often, but I didn't this time. I just thought they were okay the way they were. And you know, you wouldn't even have to put them on the tag. If you did two or three of these, you could put them on phone tape and have them. I think it would be really cool to have a piece of cardstock. See, I go on tangents. <laughs> Maybe that's not good. Maybe I should. I don't know. Okay, I, I, this one's cut down, but. I think it would be totally cool to do a layout, like here's your photo, this is not a 12 by 12, but a 12 by 12 piece of paper and have the fishes jumping over your picture. Wouldn't that be cool? I think that would be really super cute. And I have a picture of my granddaughter in mind and I, I'm, maybe I'll do that on a video, I don't know. That's a lot of pressure, I can barely do these. But anyway, that's my idea with these when I started doing them for myself for a layout. And then at the end, have the tag and a fish with the twine and everything. 
You could even run twine there and then have the fish on there. Oh, you could even do like a flag with the fish, you know, when you catch the fish. Oh, I have to do that. I have a picture of my son who is now 21. I think he was like 11. And we went to Big Sky, Montana, and he caught like, I don't know, eight trout, rainbow trout. Was that what it was? I don't remember. I'm getting old. I don't, you know, when you have five kids, you don't remember which kid was where on what trip. Cause once they become adults, but then you still have little ones, it's yeah, it's not always easy. But anyway, that would be really cute. Like do a flag with all the fishies. That would be super cute. That would be cute. Okay, yeah, see, brainstorming, sorry. Shouldn't do that. All right, so once you get all that done, I baggied them up, obviously. Like I said, I did just whatever I had. And we're gonna take our envelope, like I showed you in the other video, and you're gonna address it to yourself and from yourself. So to yourself, from yourself, you're gonna put your two stamps here in the corner. You're gonna fold it in half, right? Put it inside your envelope. This is for a mini swap again. Then you're gonna take your piece of scrappy paper, notebook paper. I use scrap um, cardstock. Three. One more. Okay, now if I was just doing the fish, which honestly you totally could, I would flip it over, flip it over. It is very important that you flip it over because like I said before, washi tape will tear those embellishments. I've had it happen, it happens a lot. And then I feel really bad. And your captains will feel bad. And, but anyway, so I'd, I decided to do the little pack. And remember, we want to keep them flat so I'm actually gonna start this way. Washi tape it to that side. And then we're just gonna keep going, right? You mail four, so there's two. This one I'm gonna actually stick right under here. And you can tape them however you like. I try to stagger them a little so that maybe they're not quite so There you go. See now? Not going to go anywhere. There's our four. So they're not so bulky. Oh, look at that. And that happens. So you know what? Washi tape to the rescue. Okay. You guys will learn over the course of videos. I'm crazy. All right. So stick that in there. Nice and flat. We're going to close it up. And we're going to mail it once again. You'll put your captain's name and your name and you put your stamps, you throw it in the mail. Your swap will get to your captain. They will message you when your happy mail's on the way and that's it. It's another swap done, right? So I did all of these, like I said, I did 30 of them. And I think it took me mm, probably about an hour if I'm being totally honest. And then maybe like 10 minutes to sit and baggy them all up. Now, I am gonna tell you a little secret if you're watching my video, we have an upcoming swap. And I know that I have seen other two YouTubers mention this. I think I've seen Janet mention it, I don't know. But whenever you're doing, oh, what is that? Or Jeebers, <sighs> my dog. I've taken him and had him blown out for his hair. He's driving me crazy. I'm gonna have to vacuum this like crazy, okay tangent. All right. So when you're doing tags and you're doing those little tabs, when you're doing arrows, just punch a bunch of them. And I will tell you why I'm kind of obsessed with it right now, because we have a swap coming up that I'm going to put probably in September that where it's going to be called all about that base. And we are going to swap an envelope with a partner of cluster bases. So your tags, your um, your little, let's see if I can get this one, the little scallops, anything that you would use as a cluster base, just keep throwing a couple extra aside because that swap is coming up. Arrows, um, your here signs, all, that's what I call those. I don't even know the real name of those. 
everything that you would use as a cluster base, just, it doesn't matter what color they are, doesn't matter. If you're already doing something, do an extra five or 10 so that when that swap comes and you get your partner, you can just toss them, it'll be a no brainer and you'll get a whole bunch back. That'll be a fun little swap we're gonna do probably in September, maybe October, depending on what I get in there. All right, so yeah, that's what I have for this week. My next video will be for next week's, which is um, Summer Fair, and I will see you guys then. I hope you had lots of fun. Have a great day.